Hi folks, Thomas Henson here with thomashenson.com and today is another episode of Big Data Big Questions. And so today I'm going to answer your question about data administration or in Big Data, what is that Big Data Administrator's role, what are some of the tools that they use, and how can you get involved. So find out more right after this. Welcome back. And so today's question is going to revolve all around the big data administrator, what that role is, what are some of the tools that they use. And so this question came in from my website. So you can do big data, big questions, go to thomasinson.com, click on big questions, submit a question there, put them in the comment section here below. Um, and then always that make sure that you're subscribing to this YouTube channel so that you'll never miss an episode. These are great tips. These are great ways for me to you know, answer any questions that you have. So if you have those questions, ask them, but also make sure you're subscribing to the channel. So today's question comes in um, from Jarvis and he says, you know, he has a dilemma on Python for big data. So we've answered a number of questions around Python and big data. And then, you know, do you have to know Java? But this one is a little bit different. It's gonna cover the data administrator. So, hi Thomas, big fan of yours. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sending in the question. So I had a question related to IT careers and skills and big data. I wanted to know if Python is required only by data administrators or can all things done by Java on big data be implemented using Python as well? And so this question is really good. So like I said, we've talked a little bit about um, do we have to, you know, do you have to know Java in order to be able to be a big data, you know, be, a, be involved in big data, be a data engineer? The answer is no, right? So you can do things in Python, but I want to tackle the question from the perspective of you're asking about data administration. And so there are two different roles. We talked about the data engineer versus the data scientist. The data engineer is the one who's, you know, setting up the cluster, you know, maybe doing some of the software development, you know, running, running your hive jobs, maybe even just the software developer from, you know, if you're writing Java jobs, if you're writing your Spark jobs. But your data administrator, that's kind of a different role inside of that. So, you know, we have two, you know, two, two pieces of the spectrum. And so on this side over here, this is more software development side generated. And on this side over here, let's say that this is more of the administrator, right? Or our systems engineer, the person who's setting up and running the cluster, maybe not doing the day-to-day -day coding, but doing the, you know, administrating and running of the system. So think of that as, you know, your full stack developer. Think about when you split up you know, your systems admin, right? Who's, who, who's setting up the stack, making sure the database is running, doing, doing those tasks versus who's writing the, whether it be PHP code or .NET code, right? So what skills, the skills does a data administrator have to have? To have? I would say that if we're talking about being able to be in, being involved in the community and being involved in big data, you're really gonna be keying on HDFS, Ambari, Hive, Flume, and you're gonna have a lot of Linux skills. So if you're asking me, you wanna get into data administration, you wanna be an awesome data administrator in the big data ecosystem, do you have to know Java? No. Can, can everything be implemented in Python? Maybe, but you're probably gonna be doing more administrative tasks as far as like setting up the cluster, understanding really the operating system that Hadoop's running on, right? So you're, you're maintaining more at that Linux level and you know the Hadoop ecosystem level. So if you're using Hortonworks or using Cloudera, how those how all those tools are integrating and talking to each other. So I would focus more on not even so much the coding part, but as far as being able to set up that cluster. And it's going to vary too, right? It's going to vary in the role. So some some places, you know, when you especially when you're just starting out in big data and you know you have a small team in your company, you're going to be the software engineer and the data administrator, right? So you might need to have a little more code, but if you're going to a more seasoned team or a bigger team, uh, you can actually, you know, have that role where you're running the administration. So, you know, my answer is, I wouldn't worry so much about Python and Java if that's the role that you're wanting. So, you know, the data administrator, I would worry about being able to integrate the tools. So be familiar with the tools, be familiar with, you know, how to set up, how to add nodes, how to take nodes down, um, how to set up a secondary name node. So being able to make sure that when one name node goes down, the second you can flip over to the second name node, being able to back up the data, you know, making sure that we're taking snapshots, all the kind of tasks that go into you know running the system versus being able to write a MapReduce job. So if you're you know if you're you're really keen on being a big data administrator, which those are great roles, those are those are a lot of fun. You're still a lot of you're still hands-on, 
but you're not really having to write the jobs. You're, you know, checking out new tech, checking out new projects to see, hey, am I going to be able to, be able to integrate this into our system? Or, man, you know, we've got two or three more nodes that are going to come online. Come online. So let's make sure that we get those racked and stacked. And then, and then let's make sure that we're added those to the cluster too. So a lot of cool things that you can do in that role. Most of them aren't going to involve coding, so you're not really going to have to worry about Java. You're not going to have to worry about um, Python as much as you would in the traditional data engineer where you're looking at uh, being more of a software engineer. So I hope I answered your question. If anybody else has any questions, put them in the comment section here below. Make sure to follow me here. So click subscribe, and then I'll see you next time.